deliver a tent just now. Um, we have three of the guys, you know, after the game tomorrow, I'll talk about the, the fourth day. Um, we got signed um, letters from Wayne Blackshear, Shane Bahannon, and um, Zach Price. And the other fourth we will, because that's the mother that we're just getting uh, we'll, we'll talk about after the game tomorrow. Uh, Wayne Blackshear is a young man that we've been on, uh, both Wayne and Zach, for a long time. We never really paid too much attention to the rumors around because everybody kept inquiring to me that are they going to change their mind. And they've been rock solid, as rock solid as any recruits I've ever had because um, of their moms with both young men. I'm, I'm very close with both mothers, who I think the world of. Um, and uh, it's always been that way, so I don't know where any of that originated from. But as far as that's concerned, there are two players that have been extremely loyal to us in the program, to me personally. And um, Wayne is a young man that uh, just has tremendous potential, as much potential as any player I've ever recruited. Because he is 6'5", long, a terrific defensive player, a very good rebounder from the guard spot, um, a good shooter. He is an explosive jumper, <coughs> and uh, he's as fine of a recruit uh, because he's got the whole package. Uh, he's got a great attitude. He's a humble young man, uh, very well disciplined. And I saw him in a high school game win the city championship by scoring the bucket, then drawing the offensive foul. Then the other team got the ball back on a questionable call, and he blocked the shot to win the city championship. And he had to get 30 some odd points. So he's a, a tremendous basketball player. He's as good as it gets. Uh, I just love his potential, um, love everything about the young man, what he stands for, how he plays, uh, how he cares about winning. So um, we've got ourselves an outstanding basketball player who uh, can get a lot better, which is the good thing. You always look at players with potential as well as where they are. And with him, because of being 6'5", and with his length, uh, he has tremendous upside to even get better. Shane Bahannon reminds me of Rodney McRae. Some people try to say match, but he really reminds me much more of Rodney McRae because he has God skills as well as forward skills. And that's the highest compliment because I thought Rodney McRae was a great basketball player. He is explosive. Like he'll do some, some things jumping-wise that I don't quite believe for his size. Uh, when you look at him, you think of someone who's very powerful, you, but you, you can't imagine how high he jumps. He's a very good passer, he can score, he can play multiple positions, uh, he can step away from the basket, he can post up, he uses screens well, he's very, very physical, he'll be a terrific Big East basketball player. And uh, he's someone uh, also that, as a freshman, uh, we'll see a lot of minutes. Uh, just an explosive athlete, as well as a very good basketball player. Uh, Zach Price is a young man that, that also has great upside. He's 6'10", 6 6'11", 6 and he's a lefty, which is, poses problems for people being a left-hander. Very good touch. Uh, he moved here from Cleveland, uh, and he's someone we could see play uh, a lot this year. Uh, he is the only, probably only area uh, that have, he'll have to work very hard on from this point to uh, his freshman year will be his conditioning, uh, because he's big. He's got to learn to run the floor consistently. He's a very good runner, but he has to do it consistently. Uh, but he's also a young man with great potential. And we're very excited to have him. So this is a, a, great, a terrific recruiting class for us. As I said earlier, it may not be over, but it's a terrific recruiting class because all the young men have the attitude that I want to coach. All the young men have, have tremendous upside. Uh, they, they can improve a great deal. And they're all players who can, who can play right away. So we're very excited to announce this recruiting class. You talked about this class for a couple of years now with the new arena and everything, how big it was. Do you feel like you got what you needed to? We did. Out of it? You know, some of you, for some reason, I, again, I go back, doubted that we would get this class. And that we, I, I don't know why, you know, because of they, they've been the most rock solid group of ever had. I, mean, I knew academically they would make it. There's certain things that we can't say about other athletes that go out and commit and they are nowhere near academically ready to go. But this, we knew this class academically would be ready as well. With Blackshear, do you foresee him playing the two or the three or how? Both. 
Okay. What, what does he have? Could he be a potential matchup problem at the two? Uh, yeah, I think he's a matchup problem at both positions. He's very long. He's a terrific athlete. He's a, a very good shooter. Um, and he's, you know, he's a young man that I've seen him do some things and, and I've been amazed at what he can do. Um, and he's also someone that he just bleeds red, bleeds Louisville red. And uh, if his mom could play, she's a big time Louisville <laughs> too. So his mom is, is very much uh, like like Heaven, who Shane's mom and, and Val. I mean, the moms are from day one have been Louisville all the way. Mm -hmm. They're big believers in what we do off the court. Big believers believers in what we do on the court academically. They they are sold on Louisville. There's probably been no one with more rumors about him other than Blackshear in this class. I mean, where do you think that came from? It was just. Well, from Wayne, uh, Carol, and Kevin, they've been the only three in on the process. They've been the only three. Very close-knit family. Carol and Wayne have been with us from day one, so we never really paid any attention to it. Uh, so we have no idea, but I, I think that's the, the world that you all live in. Fortunately for us, we don't live in that world because we don't pay any attention to it. Once in a while, you'll, you'll get some information that's accurate, and you, you got to pay attention to it. Uh, but. You know, just like the young man from Texas who decommitted and committed back a week later. You know, you pay a little attention to it because he makes an announcement, but we never paid attention to it because besides Wayne being rock solid, Carol was rock solid. And I know who runs that family, and it's Carol. <laughs> <laughs> Behannon is good of a prospect within the state that we've seen. In, Say it again. Is Behannon is good of a prospect within the state that we've seen? Yes, very much so. Now, he did move into the state from Cincinnati, but he's a... You know, he's not a homegrown product, but he's right down the road. But he's a powerful, powerful basketball player. Um, I, I remember sitting with Travis Ford the first time I watched him play. And, uh, Travis was very disappointed to see me there. <laughs> he was on him for some time, and he said, Coach, I'm not going to BS you. And you probably won't see me again now, but <laughs> this, this, this young man can flat out play. Is this the uh, the best class you sign in terms of guys who are ready made um, for for uh, playing time? You know, I've been here. It, 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 oh, since I've been here, without question. With Price, this class. Price more down the, who's more down the road? Is he, he's just conditioning wise, not not ability wise. I mean, he, he does a lot of good things for a six eleven guy. I mean, he he can he's got a very good scoring touch inside, he's a good rebounder, he's fundamentally a very sound basketball player. He just, from a condition, because he just, he, he still has some growth left in him. You know, from, from what Val says, you know, he still has another inch or two to grow. I uh, hope he didn't grow too much, but, but uh, you know, it's, he's, he's still someone who's just reaching out and he's, uh, it'll be exciting, exciting, uh, exciting for the fans now to have two prospects who are playing in the state this year that they can go see. How much role did your man play in getting these guys? It didn't, but it will play a major role down the road. It really wasn't a, as much of a factor. I mean, you, could, you couldn't go in there and they couldn't watch the game in Florida. These guys, I mean, at the base. We talked about it, but with these guys, it was more. We spent a lot of, we put a lot of effort into these guys as, as sophomores and then juniors. I, I, every time these guys played, one of us was always there. Uh, I thought Stevie Vest did a fabulous job uh, just staying on top of this and uh, you know I, I took his lead and uh, he said coach don't listen to a word anybody says Wayne will never deviate from Louisville and, and, and Zach and, and, and Shane and all of them and, and Tim is going to add a great dimension down the road for us. So, Is there a fuller influence on this class among the three <laughs> or is that to come? Say it again. Is there a fuller influence on these three or is that still to come? Is there a what? Tim, Tim, Tim Fuller's Tim Fuller. influence on these three? No, not really. I think that the future, in the junior right. class there is. Mm -hmm. uh, but he did an outstanding job with Shane Bahannon, you know, both Steve and, and Shane. I think Steve and, 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 <coughs> and Tim are very different recruiters, but I think the two of them combined is the best combination I've had in a long time. They're, they're very different in the way they go about it. You know, Tim is a, is a professional salesman, you know, who, you know, he is very, very good at what he does. Steve's a proven recruiter and some of the best players in the country. So both of these guys, and then you combine now the arena coming in, and you know, everybody wants to see the arena. All the young guys want to see it, can't wait to see it. Will this class fit this style of play 
for this season? I yeah, very you. much so. Uh, three of the guys will, you know, and now Zach's going to have to grow into it from a conditioning standpoint, but he will. When people talk about the hand and they talk about his work ethic, have you seen that? Do you, do you think that fits into your style in terms of how hard he works and runs? Um, you know, Shane's very well, his high school coach is, ter is a terrific coach, and um, he'll have Shane prepared fundamentally for us. Wayne's uh, coach is also outstanding. Zach's coach was an ex-manager of mine who won a state championship, so he'll have him prepared. Um, and um, the other young man is also being well coached. So, so the guys will be fundamentally ready. They'll have adjustments that they'll have to make, but it won't be the, except for the other young man, it won't be the physical adjustments, you know, strength-wise. These, um, both Wayne and Shane and Zach uh, are strong enough to come in as freshmen and be impact players. When you say you never doubt it, but is there, as a coach in general, when these kids come out and say, yeah, X months in advance, this is where I'm going, is there always that, until you get that fax or that whatever, is there always that sense of... With some kids, but not, it wasn't with, um, uh, with these three because of their moms. And I'll throw in um, uh, Shane's grandmother, who I got to know. She was, she made it, she's the matriarch of that family, and she told me very much that he's going to play for you. So uh, I didn't have a problem with this. This is other times without question. You know, the young man was Jeremy Tylo, and from the day he committed to us, I, I told um, uh, Walt that he'll never step foot on campus, and he committed to us. And I just sensed it. But with these guys, I never, I knew all along that they were coming. Is it, an, is it important for you to get these guys now instead of waiting until the spring period? I mean, how important is it to... I, I mean, not with these guys in particular, but just as, a, as your own theory. I mean, it's, it's just so we can concentrate on the junior class and then the sophomore class. You know, it, it gives you... When, you, when you're searching <coughs> for players for next year, it's, it just takes a lot of your time to do that. So we get this out of the way and just concentrate on, on the season and the younger players, it gives you a leg up. But I mean, very few players are signing late today, the good ones, very, very few sign late. Why is that, do you think? I think in some cases they're not sure whether A, the coach is going to stay, so they, um, they just wait. And that, that's probably the number one thing, they're not sure the coach is going to stay. Uh, there's rumors out there and, and so on. And I mean, why, why would they sign early? I guess is my question. Why would you have so many sign early versus... versus because they want, well, you risk an injury, they, they want to get that, they want to enjoy their senior year, that's the number one reason. They want to enjoy their senior year, they don't want to be, they want to have coaches call them, they want, they want to just try to win a high school championship, get that behind them, enjoy their senior class. Do you think the letter of intent needs to change at all to maybe include a loophole to where if, if a kid signs to the school and the coach leaves, it's another job is I would, if I had to make a suggestion, that would be the number one suggestion to make because the one thing I try to tell all our guys, and I say this, I say, look, we have the best facilities in all of college basketball, Louisville. Um, if you want to argue the point in certain areas, we'll say we're top three, okay, now with this new arena. With that being said, I tell everyone the same thing at the end. All the facilities, all the professors, and all of that, you're going to get great professors at every university. The core curriculums are basically going to be the same. You're going to get the same academic tutoring. You're going to get the same speech about, about out academic counseling. Um, the difference is whether you, the head coach. And I told the young man, I tell him all the time, if, if, if I'm not the guy that's the difference maker in your life, not on the basketball court, but in your life, both as a basketball player and a person, don't come with us. I said, because I've had, most of my success comes from people that really want to play for me in this style of play. Um, and it's not the town, it's not the school, it's not the facilities, it's not that, because they don't know any of that. They won't, they'll, that will become bigger in their life as they experience it. And then about 60% of the people, I told one recruit, I said, you know, by going to Louisville, over this other place, you now have a future home because the other place, you're not going to want to settle down there. Not because it's a bad place, just there's not going to be any industry for you to get a job if you don't make professional basketball. So I tell all the recruits, this is a place where you're going to want to live someday besides um, uh, coming to school. What's the line you use to sell them off? I'm sorry? What are you using to sell That I cannot, that would be a trade secret. <laughs> <I can't remember. laughs>